Okay, guys, don't be afraid. I just got a truck. It comes in a box. It has a radio with no antenna. And this stuff. It's the most awesome truck in the world. At, at least, that's what I've been told. All right, let's take a look at this thing, guys. Okay, guys, all kidding aside, let's take a quick peek at the slash here. Now, the one thing when I first pulled this thing out of the box is just how it's huge looking compared to most 110 scale cars that I, I've seen and looked and owned. Uh, and if you guys know from the start of my channel, I was mainly a car guy before I ever got into doing drones and airplanes. So this is going to be a new um, experience for me. I've never had a short course truck. I've driven one around for about two minutes while a friend of mine had one. Uh, right off the bat, it's, it's tracks. It's, it seems like they've really thought of a lot of things. Like they say, hey, you know, if you're gonna if you're gonna be on more of a um, tame terrain, uh, you can set up the shocks differently. It gives you a little tag here on that. It tells you, hey, if you're gonna run a lipo battery, which I am, make sure you set the uh, ESC. So it's got this little ribbon here this little tag so I'm gonna make sure I set up the uh, low voltage protection for that and also it ta tells you about the motor you know don't do too many hard stops and starts uh, over and over again so you don't want to heat overheat the motor so uh, one of the things th that's pretty amazing uh, about this is just how much suspension travel there is and how much clearance there is if you look underneath the, the uh, tray here uh, and these things are just built to be bulletproof and look this is like three four inches of travel something like that but uh, really nice looking shocks. It's very cushy. Uh, I really can't wait to um, to drive this thing because I have my battery that I got from my drifter and the drifter battery is going to fit right in here. This is made to go with a 2S LiPo, about a 5,000 milliamp pack. Just It slots right into this little this little um, battery hanger here. I'm going to put the uh, the antenna in through here so we can have some nice reception. If the cyst gets locked down with a body pin. And basically they state that you have a high torque servo here, ESC is here, and your motor right here. It's pretty simple. Uh, but I thought I would just show this to you guys. Just a, a little initial uh, unboxing. I can't wait to get to it. Um, comes with your transmitter. Um, there are versions of this that have um, battery and charger along with it. Usually they're NICAD batteries, so I don't really like NICAD. So I'm going full, I do full LiPo usually. Um, but um, it comes pretty much ready to run. You just have to bind up your radio and um, and get going. So um, uh, I am going to switch out this plug here for an XT60, uh, and that's about the only modification I'm going to do because I don't know anybody that uses these uh, plugs here. Uh, like with most cars, you're going to have an instruction manual and some spare parts. Let's see what kind of spare parts they have along in with this. Lots of literature, some late night reading, and so, ooh, looks like some stickers as well. These are the shock collars, um, which uh, change the stiffness of the springs. Looks like there's uh, two sets of those. Some uh, looks like a different pinion gear and a spur gear. Um, hopefully they'll tell you, um, uh, it looks like it has a little guide on there um, to tell you how to use those. Uh, some pit tools, um, some wrenches and whatnot. That's fantastic. I love it when companies include those things. Um, Looks like this is those little things to protect your body so it doesn't get um, scratched up by the body pins. And just a couple extra screws, some foam pads. I'm not really sure what these are for. Maybe it's for uh, helping it to assist the body. Maybe this goes up here or something like that. One thing that I should mention, guys, is that this truck is completely waterproof. The receiver is in a waterproof box. The steering servo is waterproof, and so is the motor and gearbox, obviously. Now I'm just soldering on my XT60 connector here and also changing the shock positions to make it more street friendly because like I said, we're not really gonna be taking this one out to the track. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put in this battery here. Um, this is a 5,000 milliamp Roar approved 2S LiPo. I will turn on the radio. Just that's one right there. Let me go ahead and plug this in. There is an on off button on the ESC where you turn it off, turn it on. Ooh, I'm excited. All right, guys, so this is a 2S LiPo battery. So there is something in the instructions here that I'm going to follow about LiPo batteries. Okay, so it says turn it on, and I need to turn on low voltage detection. So follow these steps. Turn on the model, make sure the LED on the speed controller is on and red, which it is. Press and hold the easy set button for 10 seconds. The LED will turn off, and then green light. The motor will beep twice, release the button. All right, I'll try that. And then after that, the low voltage detection is now active. So 10 seconds. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's the two beeps, release, and it is set. So it says it has a green light now. Great, so I wonder what the voltage that it goes down to uh, goes to. So I'm wondering what that voltage might be. Okay guys, so the next video that you guys are gonna see is me probably toying around with this with my son and my daughter. Um, she's into it and uh, I'll talk to you guys. Thanks for joining me on my new adventure into short course trucks. I'm not gonna take this to a track most likely. I'll just be running around outside in front of my house and in my backyard. So it should be pretty darn fun. Thanks.